In this video, we will see some examples of inner join with some new rules we have not seen yet. So, a few examples in which we will share something new. I am going to show you something new. So, we already saw that we can do group aggregation, sorting, editing with single query, with single table, sorry. What I want to show that you can do same things with joint information as well. Suppose I want to display which customer ordered most number of products. Which customer ordered most number of products. So I want to see the name. I am interested in knowing the name of the customer. If I want to the, know the name of customer then name of the customer is present only in customer dimension table and so I have to join the customer dimension table with market factful because there is most number of products order quantity is there in market factful so what I will do I will join customer dimension table uh, with inner join we are studying inner join with market factful so how we will write it down what we want we want customer order the most number of products select customer name first because we want to see the name and then sum of order quantity because most number of products then we will get to know how much most number of products as column alias. This is column alias from table name 1, inner join table 2. So left hand side there is table 1 and on the right hand side you write the other table name. So you can already see the left side of the inner join customer dimension table is there and right side there there is a market factful and this cm is the table alias as we are using for a column we can use for table also by the name this is the way to write it down column alias for table so i have specified the market factful on the right side so we have to specify it after that link field on which we want to link the both tables so using on keyword on close so we we will see c dot cust id is equal to m dot cust id and then i will group by customer name because i want to know who ordered the most number of products then i have to do group by by customer name then i what i will do i will short it on the descending order and when the very the they should be in the top top person should be there so who order the most number of orders you know order by total orders descending for this what we will do order by total orders descending for descending for what this will display the information in descending order so if I will run this one query, what you will see here, I am going to run this one. You will see the name of the person who is ordering most. And if there is another one person, you can see there. So, we can see that there is two, triple two is the total number of orders that is ordered by customer name Aaron Hawkins. So, you should know that customer name is coming from different table my market factful does not contain any customer name so if you want to really show that top customer you can simply say descending limit one if i want to show the top one customer this is an important query for top 1 customer, top 2 customer, top 3 customer. This is generally asked in interview who are the top 2 person there uh, after giving a few 
tables for the, uh, on which basis they can ask on different way but this is very common ask interview question so it will display only one name after specifying limit one many times i want to tell you that where is the primary key and where is the frequency key so frequency key attribute most of the times they are the same instead of saying simply one thing that the both are both are same customer id is foreign key for one table and primary key for one table so that is the reason we can link here the attribute which is foreign key for one table is the primary key for another one table so that is the reason we can link so we have linked both table on the uh, link field customer id so now what we will do we can write it down the same query in some another way and what we will do for that this is the alternate way for the same query select customer name sum this from this inner join this this is the same i hope you understood so we can write the link field in different way using cust id we don't need to require this one thing this line if we put it uh, we uh, understood it hard then we can write it down like this same query will be same and there is a change of keyword using using within bracket the link field you want to link both the tables on which base you want to link so specifying the link field using keyword when you are specifying the link field you can do it by using on close or by using close we can uh, specify by on close or using close so using close simply specify the attribute name you you can notice that i don't i don't have use here on and i didn't i didn't require to write it down c dot cust id is equal to m dot cust id i don't say that because by saying this close i am saying that don't worry about this the attribute name are same you can simply use this by so this particular attribute obviously the syntax give error if the attributes names are different if the attributes name are different then this particular uh, syntax will give error so if the attributes names are different at one place i am saying it's use cust id and another it should be customer id so there is no choice cust id and another one customer id so there is no choice here is the in both tables attribute name is similar so you should use on keyword on the different uh, attribute name otherwise you can use the using keyword to specify the link field so we can see after running this are we getting the same result see we are getting same result if we are using here limit then we also use the same thing we can also find out the same result so this is the way you will write it down the query by using keyword and this is the way this is a uh, this is the query which is mostly asked in interview top one customer top n customer top three products go to so this is a, this is a important query for interview perspective okay friends i will continue from here in my next video thank you thank you so much please do more and more practice thank you